Wait, listen to the music. Great TV show. Yeah, right here on ABC, but also great music. So as we count down to Oscar, six days, we're going to introduce you to a star you've probably never seen, but whose work you've definitely heard, like that ABC theme song. He's a great composer behind the music for some of your favorite TV shows and movies. I always have music rattling around in my head. Danny Elfman can be musically inspired in quirky ways. I'll hear a car drive by, and I just hear like, just like three bars of music, and that triggers, oh my God, I've got this thing. That talent has helped Elfman compose music for more than 60 films, including Batman, Spider-Man, and most of director Tim Burton's movies, like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. You. And Alice in Wonderland in 3D, opening Friday. You're back. Hold back. Good Morning America was invited to eavesdrop on Elfman and director Tim Burton analyzing some Alice in Wonderland music. It might be all right. Well, that's exactly the eighth notes that we were talking about. Scoring a major movie can take months. To do it, Elfman screen scenes, tinkers on the keyboard a little, and pieces together his composition with a computerized library of synthesized sounds. They're translated into sheet music and then, for Alice in Wonderland, performed by a 96-piece orchestra. Under Elfman's watchful ear. You know the movies, but did you think about the music? Elfman's music earned Oscar nominations for Goodwill Hunting, Men in Black, Big Fish, and Milk. He scored more than 60 films and is a member of the Academy of Motion Pictures, Arts and Sciences, so there is a special appreciation for film preservation. And uh, something that I think is personally great is the uh, capacity within the Academy to honor very small films that did not uh, get much publicity, it didn't get much uh, budget, and yet they'll take that if it's really well made and uh, they'll notice it. Elfman would be honored to win an Oscar, but curiously, he dreads accepting one because he worries that the awards distract from artistry. Whenever I win anything, I do feel a sense of that's bad luck and a little bit of a curse. So I've got a funny attitude. I'm slightly superstitious. He's so superstitious that Elfman's Grammy, Emmy, and other awards are stored at his mom's house, not where he lives with his wife, actress Bridget Fonda. I would be very, very happy if I was able to contribute to films and never have a, an award to show for it. He doesn't seem to need attention. For example, Elfman doesn't mind if TV viewers don't realize this is his music on The Simpsons. <laughs> and Desperate Housewives. Despite composing for hit TV shows and blockbuster movies recognized around the world, Elfman says he's just as happy when his music isn't recognized. My great pleasure is when I do a score, somebody listens to it and go, I would not have known that was you. I go, yes. Music to his ears. <laughs>